I'm in. I'm not in me mom's car because I'm in my own car. Yes, <laughs> yes, we're still doing this book. Um, honestly, we're about halfway through it. Truly, like almost something like that. <laughs> no, this is old. Like that, we are here now. So, yeah, we're almost halfway. Almost close enough. <laughs> but no. So, um, what are we talking about today? Applying aerobics to commuting. I feel like this is gonna be backwards. In the video but it's okay you know the word commuting <laughs> mm -hmm. hey everybody what's up how are you doing first of all let me be nice you know <laughs> let me have manners how are you today I'm back here with another episode if you're new this is your first time tuning in welcome <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not pushy on likes, but if you subscribe to my channel, I would love it. <laughs> but um, if you're a returning viewer or you're already subscribed, hey, bestie, what's up? How are you today? Have you eaten something? You guys, we're still doing this book. Um, but no, so um, what are we talking about today? Applying aerobics to commuting. But no, so the book basically <clears throat> beginning on page like 53. Um, it talks about commuting um, and how we use like mental maps basically to navigate like through our like normal daily lives like how we can remember like how our childhood home was how it was laid out mom mom and dad's room was over there you know my room was here kitchen was over there or even like certain streets on like where to travel how to travel like to this day you ask me how do I how do I get to or how to get to own um, like six mile period I will tell you if I'm on seven mile, all I do is take seven miles straight up to Greenfield, take Greenfield over to six mile, and then I go down six mile a little but bit. No, like just like stuff like that. Like I just I know I can picture it in my head because I've done it so much and repeated repeatedly and stuff repetitively. It's kind of just burned in there. <laughs> the, in the commuting section, it is not about like you know like forgetting your old way of doing things, doing stuff in a new way, blah blah. blah. It's part about doing stuff in a new way. But it's also about training your brain or showing your brain um, on how to better remember things, on how to use like scent or like sight, you know, touch, feel and all that. All of those to help you relate to like certain areas and everything. I said I wasn't going to do every single exercise in this section um, just because this section is kind of long. And also like I just wanted to touch on the ones that stood out to me most. We can, we can start at the first one. The first one is easy. It's easy. It's the sightless start. So you guys are back to covering our eyes, closing our eyes. <laughs> it's the sightless start. So basically exactly how it sounds is what it is. You get in the car, eyes closed. You know, you um, feel for the steering wheel. You feel for the gear shift. You feel for the key, the right key to put inside the right ignition, turn it, stuff like that, blase, blase. Did I just, I can, I'm sick, I just did all that with my eyes closed as if I don't have these dark glasses on. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, no, you guys, the sightless start, that's basically what it is. In the bottom section of the book, it says, um, just as in the Jane example on page 35, um, that 50 year old lady that we talked about at the beginning, beginning of the book, um, your tactile sense triggers a spatial like memory of where things are um, via rarely used sets of like brain pathways. Closing your eyes also opens up opportunities to form like additional um, associations, like the detailed feel of your keys or like the cold steel of the seat belt buckle, blah, 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 like that are suppressed when you rely solely on sight. So it's talking about basically just like when you cut out your sight, you start to notice more, you know, like you're gonna notice the cold feeling of the metal from the belt from the seat belt buckle you feel me or you're gonna feel like the detailed lines and everything the carvings in your key and whatnot so i like that one that one's easy enough to begin with <laughs> you know moving on the one that actually stood out stood out to me the first one that stood out to me was actually number two blaze new here we go blaze new trails um, and it plays, especially, I like this illustration. This illustration really low key, if you ask me, doesn't go with this, <laughs> with this at all, but <laughs> it's cool. But um, no, so Blaze New Trails is basically like, it's saying like to take a different route to work. Um, if you're driving, like open windows and whatnot. Which I'm big on opening, I'm big on opening windows. It'll, it can be like, 
it'll be hot out and my ac in my car works and everything perfectly great good it, 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 like really great um but no i will i'll turn i'll have the ac on and i still have to crack the window because i need i need the fresh air i need the wind blowing past me you know i need i need all that <laughs> no it brings up opening the windows and whatnot um as like i said as instructed in exercise four which exercise four is the windows of opportunity which is basically saying like simply open the windows you know like <laughs> just open the windows as you're driving you know that's it's trying to get you to just like go ahead and receive all the smells like if it's raining you can smell the rain if you drive past like a cookout or something you're gonna smell the barbecue and stuff like honestly like i i like you <laughs> know i i try to do that i strive for that because going up the main street getting to my um to my new place going up the main street there's this um restaurant or whatever it's this mexican restaurant and they have these grills out front sidewalk street but the barbecue grills that they grill on are right here on the sidewalk on the curb type thing facing the street and all the smoke from the barbecue grill just comes out and it's all over the street and you just like you're coming up the street you see it before you get to it and you're like oh what is this but then you go through it you get on the other side and it gets in your car vents and you start smelling it. it's like whoo this smell like some good food what are y'all cooking i need three of those what <laughs> but no really it's like it's my favorite part of um like driving home honestly truly <laughs> like it's no. just i don't know and, it, and that's the thing if you if I'm in the car at this point, if I'm in the car and I'm like starting to doze off or whatever, like my friend is driving or whoever, I um like if I'm half asleep and I smell that, oh, I know I'm close to home at that point. <laughs> like, cause I can just associate that smell with that area, so I know that I'm close to home. I know that area is close to my home and whatnot. But um, yeah, no, I just I'm weird like that though, you guys. I'm very weird like that. <laughs> I figured I'd throw in another easy one, too, for you guys. Um, not saying that you can't do anything else, but, like, I'm just saying. The easy stuff. I like to shoot for the easy stuff first when I'm trying new things. So, yeah. <laughs> but, no. So, another easy one, though, is number five. It says time to um, put the gloves on. And it's basically just telling you, like, when you go to get ready to drive or, like, do anything, like, put gloves on. That way it takes away, like, your sense of feeling and touch, technically, kind of, sort of. Because you're not feeling like this bottle, this right here, this bottle is cold. I know it's cold. I can feel the coldness. But if I put a glove on, you feel me, and have it like, this isn't a glove, but this is as close to a glove as I can get right now. But no, if I put my hand like on here like this, I don't know that this is cold. Like maybe if I move my fingers down, yes. But the center of my hand, the center of my hand doesn't feel anything cold right now. You feel me? So it's basically, that's what exercise five is basically saying. Um, Cause it says that like blending your sense of fine touch forces you basically to rely on other cues to like steer the car or like change stations on the radio. Um, blase, blase, stuff like that. Picking up a bottle <laughs> and whatnot. That was cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, number five, I figured that was easy enough and I really want to try it. Alrighty now, so the next one that stood out to me, I feel like as soon as I explain this one, you guys are gonna, if you know me, know me, or even know a little bit about me, then you're gonna see why this next one stood out to me and I really wanted to talk about it. <laughs> but um, number six, it's number six, and it's follow your nose. Cause y'all know I love scents, I love fragrances. I, um, you know, I have my soap making business and whatnot, and I just, I make soaps, I use all my fragrances. Sometimes I mix fragrances to get a certain smell and everything, blase, blase, stuff like that. Follow your nose. I'll just read this one to you guys. It says, use odors to form a specific association with the place. Like how I just explained, like if I'm, if I'm half asleep in the car on my way home while my friend is driving and we go past that Mexican restaurant and I smell the smoke, like even without me having my eyes open or anything, I don't need to see outside. Once I smell that smoke and everything, because it has a distinct smell to it. Like, I guess it's their, like, their restaurant-specific special spice recipe or whatever. But it's a specific smell to it, and it smells so amazing. And, like, no, I know where I'm at. <laughs> Every time I smell it, I know that I'm nearby. And, yeah. <laughs> it basically goes on explaining that. Um, 
It says, having created an association between a specific odor and the place, the presence of either the odor or the place will, tr will uh, thereafter activate that association. So it's like afterwards, once you, you know, once you smell something like a specific, like signature scent type thing at a certain place, every time that you smell that scent, it's going to remind you of that place. Or every time that you're at that place, you're going to remember when you smell that certain specific scent. You feel me? Like it's just little stuff like that, you know? <laughs> But, um, it's basically telling you, like, to just, like, have a different scent thing ready for you, a different scent canister ready for you. It's basically like how we did wake up and smell the vanilla. You feel me? Except this is while you're commuting. You're not waking up to this. <laughs> um, but in the bottom excerpt, it says, this exercise creates an old-fashioned, an old-factory route map in your brain, linking the brain areas that help you navigate with the <clears throat> coarsal regions that interpret odors, marrying old factory associations to places, people, events, or things is also a powerful way to, hey, powerful way to enhance memory. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah, know, that's what, like, I just, I'm freaking out over number six. I love number six. Number six is a great idea. Um, because it's basically telling you to just have like different canisters of your favorite fragrance or whatever. I feel like I'm too tall. There we go. <laughs> but no, um, it's basically telling you to just have different like scents of your favorite fragrances or whatever. And um, just using them like on a daily, like just having them in your car. You feel me? Like oh, like hey, I'm Breon and I'm driving from Nashville back to Detroit. Vroom vroom vroom. You know, you know. But it's like. I um like I'm driving on my way back to Michigan from Nashville. I get to like the Kentucky Speedway, pull out one canister, associate that scent with that area. You feel me? Get up to like the Cincinnati Bridge, pull out the next scent. You know, associate that fragrance with that area. You know, stuff like that. Or you can just, like, if you know that a certain area has a distinct smell no matter what, every single day <laughs> type thing, you can just leave it at that. And then that's when the opening your own window starts to play its own role, you know? It comes into play. Okay, so jumping ahead, because I said I wasn't, I wasn't trying to do every single exercise in this section. Um, we're moving forward to exercise number eight, the Midas Touch. Um, which is basically it tells you to place a cup filled with like different coins in your cup in your car's cup holder and then like while you're at a stoplight or you're stopped or whatever you're like sitting and waiting like in the drive through or something blah say blah say like you're in your car but you're not moving driving your car um just like sit there and try to like try to pick out try to pick out which coins are which you know it's like nice for like example purposes only but like quarters a few dimes and then let's throw a couple pennies in there and then i'm going to take my glasses off so you can see me with my eyes closed <laughs> but no so i have my cup i have my change sit it right here and then take this off of my hand because i need my whole hand but um Okay, so I will turn this way at that. And then, um, I don't know. Just should I should I pick a coin? Let's go. Let's try to find a quarter. I'm gonna look for no. I'm gonna look for a penny because the pennies and the dimes are both small. They're almost relatively the same size, but they're not. But there are certain distinctions which I will explain after this. So let's get to the um. What else? I'll grab a penny. I think I got it already. I think this is it. I think this is it. Huh. I got it. So, let me explain this. Because what I did was, it's the fact that I know personally that the outer side of the penny. Let me show you this. You see how it's just smooth? The dime is not smooth. It has like... Has ridges. You can't even really see it. And my fingers are ugly. Uh-huh. But no, it's like, cause when I put my hand inside the cup, I tried to, um, I tried to see if I could feel for Lincoln's face, but I cannot determine Lincoln's face difference from, um, what is this? I don't even know who's on this. 
But no, I try to do that. But like I said, I can determine that. I'm trying to determine the backside. Um, because this has these three on here, you might be able to. Um, if you're really good with your feeling and not or and whatnot. Um, but yeah. But no, what did it for me was like I said, the side of the penny is smooth and the side of the dime has these ridges in it. So that's how I knew every time I grabbed a small coin in my hand, I knew that like I did this and I knew that this isn't a penny. I did this. I was like, okay, this is the penny. <laughs> But yeah, no, that was that was interesting. No lie. I, um, do I feel different after doing that? Only a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit. I think it's because I'm shocked that I did it successfully on camera. I thought for sure I was going to do this wrong. I was going to do it like a few times. <laughs> but no, it worked out, you guys. So basically, no, that's basically what exercise number eight is telling you to do. That's the Midas touch. So boom, that's number eight. So let's go ahead and let's move on to number, do I want to do number nine? I don't know. Um, let's do number 11. That's the last one in this section. So number 11, number 11 is leave the driving to others. If you ask Armand, he'll tell you that this, is, this, is, this one right here is for me. This is all I do. I do not like driving. It's not that I don't like driving. It's just that like, if I have the option to not drive, I'm not gonna drive <laughs> shoot but no um it says leave the driving to others i'll just read through this one for you guys um it says basically you can adapt many of the preceding strategies to commuting by bus train or even on foot if you walk to work take a few different turns or get off the bus before or after your usual stop and walk the rest of the way take a scent canister and your Walkman and try exercise number seven and the one of um smelling everything and then we we're supposed to talk about playing music at certain areas too but i mean i just I, that's the thing i have playlists for like whatever mood i'm in like i have a i have a shmoney i have a manifesting playlist i have a shmoney playlist i have a manifesting shmoney playlist <laughs> um i have my boss jams i have my country jams I have my Detroit jams. Um, I have everything. So that's why I didn't touch on that part. And like I said, I'm only doing one that stood out, stood out to me, okay? But no, 11, leave the driving to others. Um, yeah, no. Um, on a train or bus, close your eyes and use other cues such as the speed of the train or bus or turns in the road, the sound of like brakes or people getting on and off the bus to visualize like where you are and what it looks like outside, you know? And it's saying to do this as you're like, it's saying to listen for all of these sounds while you're in commute, while somebody else is driving, you know? Like not necessarily someone else is leading the way, but when somebody else is driving, when you have that, like that opening to just sit there and like you're moving and whatnot, but it's like you're sitting there and you can take everything in. Like you see all the trees going past, you see that really nice house that just went past, but then you see that one really crazy colored like thing, the house that just went past, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, it's just the little things, the little things. <laughs> but no, in the bottom part, it says to take a still or take a still or a video camera or a small sketch pad. There's a whole world outside the window to record when you're leaving, when you're leaving the driving to others. So I want you to record, even if you can't draw, just draw the essence the essence the aesthetics of whatever it is you're trying to draw you feel me you don't it doesn't have to be picture perfect doesn't have to be you're not van gogh picasso blase 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 even picasso's pictures didn't look like what they actually were they were just his interpretation of them so you know just go ahead open up become an artist you know you never know you might be the next um da vinci you never know <laughs> but no the next one even says to read something completely different from your normal commuting fare. Which, at this point, honestly, you guys, where is where is my purse at? Where is my purse? Because at this point, I need a book bag. I need to, I need to, I'm a grown woman, yes indeed. But I have to stop walking around with the purse. I need a book bag because I have this book. Have the defining decade i just got this one i'm just starting this one we're halfway through keep your brain alive and then i'm at the end of this one 
<laughs> and yes, I walk around with all three of these books on me, in my purse, every day, consistently. <laughs> because it's like, I need to keep your brain alive so I can do my YouTube stuff. Um, asking it is given is what had my attention for the longest recently. And I just got this defining decade. I'm in my 20s, and I'm trying to, like, <laughs> figure out what is going on right now. So I just... Oh, I'm a bookworm right now. It's like, oh. But, no. So, yeah. So, that's all the exercises I wanted to cover in this video. Um, You guys, we still have a few more exercises in the book to cover. Hey, guys. So, just real quick, I want to add on that my 25th old lady birthday <laughs> is coming up this next weekend, July 10th. Be prepared. It's a national holiday, or at least I feel like it should be. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, if you want to, like, wish me a happy birthday or anything, reach out to me on Instagram, um, at Brian Renee. You already know that. <laughs> or, um, come drop a line over on my website, mmsl.love, because I love you. <laughs> but, yeah, no, you guys, I just want to thank you for, like, being so cool and so supportive these past, like, what two years yeah <laughs> but um yeah no just thank you for watching um if you wish me happy birthday thank you for the wishes stay safe stay clean and always remember that brian loves you let's get it yeah they call them big breezes I feel like this is gonna be backwards in the video, but it's okay. You know the word commuting. <laughs> it's like night. How do I show this? I don't have any coins on me. No, I do have coins on me. I'm at work, you guys. But um, this is for like example purposes only. But like, so it's telling you. Let me grab a cup. Actually, get this completely, completely like all the way there for you guys. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, hold on. Hotel cups. <laughs> you reach in and you, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't think I'm rich and that's how I know the difference between coins because I don't think rich people even deal with pocket change. <laughs> but no.